Hey, Rockford Jake here. Today I'm joined by Chris from Bright Stars of Bethlehem. How's it going, Chris? Hey, Jake. Going well. How are you? Doing fantastic. Thank you. So for those that don't know, uh, tell me a little bit about the background of Bright Stars. Thanks, Jake. So Bright Stars of Bethlehem is a nonprofit that was co-founded by an amazing world changer named Do Reverend Dr. Mitri Raheb, who lives in Bethlehem, the birthplace of Christ. Um, he is a world changer. He... Um, had a vision uh, many years ago, living, having grown up in Bethlehem, which has been war-torn war for the last 50 years, and dealing with the occupation, the looming annexation. He wanted to help the pa Palestinians to flourish. So here he connected with some folks here in the United States, and in 2015, uh, they collaborated to start Bright Stars at Bethlehem. And Bright Stars is the funding arm of this amazing arts and culture-based university called Dar al Kalima. Okay. University of Arts and Culture. And this university um, is uh, art space. They, they feature da um, dancing, uh, visual arts, film, jewelry making, um, all the arts, music. Everything. Yeah, pretty much any form of creative expression. Right? Yeah. And yeah. the way that um, Mitri uh, looks at this is he, he saw the incredible, um, tangible ways that the arts can heal trauma. And obviously in Palestine, there's a lot of trauma. And um, interestingly, I see a connection here to Rockford as well. Um, I'm a strong believer that the arts can, can heal and can help people to flourish. And um, that's why he started this university. And now he's the president of the university. Nice. And uh, with Bright Stars, I, I just um, started as the executive director in April, smack dab at the beginning of the pandemic. And um, I have never been to Palestine. I was supposed to go, but obviously everything closed down. <laughs> yeah. And my hope is that I can go maybe sometime in the fall or next year. Um, but until then, I've been living off the stories of these amazing collaborators all across the country, which we call ambassadors. And um, they are folks that help us to fundraise, help us to promote, get the word out about the, the vision and the mission of Bright Stars, which is the vision is to help um, to help all Palestinians to have life abundant, to flourish. Yeah. And the mission is to unlock hope for the next generation of creative leaders in Palestine. And that leads us to like this wonderful piece that's right up here above you, right? Like this yes. is um, something that came out of the program from one of the students. Over yes. In, I, you know in what? Palestine. This, this painting right here fuels me when I wake up in the morning and I come into my home office here in um, in Rockford, as, as we've all been doing during the pandemic, or many of us have been doing during the pandemic, is working at home. I come into my office and I look at this and I remember what what uh, my calling is, is to unlock hope through the arts. And this was painted by a young man, a 22-year-old named Ismail. He lives in Gaza. He has literally has electricity maybe three, four hours a day. And he painted this painting as a uh, response to my request to, to exemplify something that means what does it mean to be the key to unlock hope, which is our campaign, trying to raise money to um, come alongside of our friends in Palestine. And um, this painting to me really, it just it just is effervescent, the colors, it just really exemplifies hope. And Ismail, um, despite having been through wars himself, and uh, despite the fact that he's dealing with the occupation, he's dealing with the um, everything that he has to deal with in Gaza, which is truly the, the largest open air prison in the world. Yeah. Um, he comes up with something this beautiful. And, you know, um, I was able to, I, I've been able to collaborate with many um, local businesses on this, um, this calling, this journey with Bright Stars. Um, I got, I was able to get the framing done by um, uh, a gentleman named Eamon who did an incredible job. And when he framed it, he said, Chris, what is this? It's not like a um, normal canvas. It's like almost like a bed sheet. And it turns out Ismail had to use whatever he could to make this beautiful art. And um, anyway, so I've been able, I've been really blessed by local uh, businesses as well. Um, That's awesome. Stars. Yeah. And for other local businesses or individuals that want to come alongside, learn more about Bright Stars and potentially partner in one of the many ways, where can they go to get more information and get in contact with you? Well, they can go to our website, which has all the information you need. And um uh, it's brightstarsofbethlehem.org, I believe. And we'll um, put the link in the doobly doo above and below so people can just okay. click on through to it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and the ways that people can help here locally would be to partner with us financially. Um, 
any gift will make a difference um, to unlock hope in Palestine. Um, monthly or one-time gift would be great. And another way would be if you're interested in, in social justice, in um, unlocking hope, um, in, in really making a difference and being a world changer, you could also become an ambassador. And we've got an awesome group here in, in the Chicagoland area. We've been meeting on Zoom. Um, but you can just call me, give me a call. My number is on the website. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Chris, for taking the time to get together and chat. And thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. Like Chris said, you can visit the website to give her a call and get more information on how to partner. If you're passionate for things like social justice, the power of art to heal trauma, and helping people all over the world, this is a great organization here to help fulfill that mission of your own. Um, I just want to give a real quick shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support we're able to highlight local people like Chris and wonderful organizations like Bright Stars of Bethlehem and bring all this positive content to you for free through the power of the internet. So thank you so much to them. We'll catch you on the flip side. Bye, Rockford.